Hello, everybody. I'm Isa. This is Marco. And this is Fatima. Fatima is a mother of three. She lives in Ulmes in rural Morocco. She is one out of 7,000 people in this little village up in the mountains in rural Morocco. They live at 4,000 feet above sea level. It is freezing cold when we arrive. And um, the clinic doesn't have a functioning heating system. The, um, the power is going on and off, and the patients and the community health workers are dressed in layers and layers of clothes and blankets. In this environment, women are giving birth. It's cold, there's no running water in labor and delivery, and there's no paper tissue to wipe the babies with. We come to OMS with a mission, and our mission is pretty simple. We just want to show that you can provide uh, state-of-the-art diagnostics without a physician on site. We want to prove that we can do it at the same or better quality, at a lower cost, and faster than it's normally done. So better, faster, cheaper. So uh, what we do is we bring a portable imaging device, an ultrasound device, to capture the images. We bring a cell phone to transmit the images and a cloud solution for remote reviewing and diagnostics. During three weeks, we scan 575 women in three villages. The images are sent to Casablanca, Fes, and Paris for a diagnose. And why is this important? It's important because 800 women die every day within an hour from giving birth. Most of them actually bleed to death. Children become motherless, families are broken, and they can no longer support their families. And actually, it's assumed that 70% of these women could actually be saved if they had access to diagnosis. So, we wanted to show you a little video clip directly from Umes in rural Morocco. This is Dr. Katouf telling you guys about his experience. I am a doctor and I live just outside of Rabat, Morocco. I participate in a mobile ultrasound patrol, and once per week, I travel to remote and underserved communities to provide ultrasounds for pregnant women. Ultrasound equipment used to be very large, and women would have to travel a great distance to find a clinic that had this technology. Even if women could get an ultrasound, image quality was poor, and it was nearly impossible to share images or get second opinions. As a result, Many women in remote areas would simply not get the screening they needed to help prevent potentially life-threatening conditions. But now I have an ultrasound device that fits into a small backpack that I can take to expecting mothers in these underserved communities. What's more, my mobile ultrasound device connects with my wireless smartphone or tablet, which enables me to securely transmit the images I capture to a prenatal specialist anywhere in the world within seconds. This allows me to get preventative care advice quickly, greatly increasing the mother's chances at a safe and healthy pregnancy. My name is Dr. Katov, and I'm using wireless mobile ultrasound to keep mothers and their children healthy and alive.
So, what did we learn? Well, we learned that we could actually cut the time for a mother, expecting mother to get a diagnosis from two weeks to under 24 hours. We learned that we could take the cost down from $80 to $2 per patient. But we also learned that 16% of these pregnancies were high-risk pregnancies that could not have been detected if it wasn't for the ultrasound technology and the re remote expertise. But what if? What if we take this to a global level? What if 215,000 women don't have to die every year from pregnancy-related complications? Giving birth should not be a matter of life or death. What if 750 children can have a better chance at life and grow up under the care of their moms? United Nations Millennium goals are to reduce these death rates by 50%. It goes back to access. We talked about that. Access to diagnosis is key here. The technicians in Morocco had never used ultrasound before. Yet after only four hours of training, they learned how to use a device. They learned how to capture the images necessary for diagnosis. And within about a couple of weeks, the quality, diagnostic quality of the images that they captured has gone up from 10% to an amazing 92%. That's huge. So let those guys do the scanning and let the cloud doctor do their remote diagnosis. The technology that was used in Morocco has since been much more advanced. Today, all you need is IDIS integrated with Tricify and tethered to your smartphone so you can send the data up to the cloud. It's really that simple. One, the local technician does the exam using their connected medical visualization solution to capture the images. Two, the images are transferred securely and encrypted, HIPAA compliant, to the Tricify cloud sharing platform. Three, the physician remotely connects and potentially within minutes can read and make a diagnosis and do the report. Four, the local technician can then have a consult with their patient, relaying the physician findings with the best care path for them. Empowering clinicians and patients to take the best decision and have a safer pregnancy. Empowering clinicians and patients. You guys all know the potential of this could be huge. With over 150,000 ambulances, only in developed countries, what if the paramedic can assess the acute condition of their patient with help from the remote physician and potentially act on it while in transport or prepare the hospital staff for the incoming patient? You guys know, every minute counts. And what if a million GPs go from tapping on the liver and listening to it to make a diagnosis to picking up their mobile device, seeing through the body, and making diagnoses? Huge difference. Huge difference. We're talking about improved outcomes and economic efficiencies. The patient at home would rather stay at home, be cared for at home, not have to go to the hospital if it's not necessary. Home health care is on the rise. Internationally, doctors are making more and more home visits. What if that doctor's bag can do more than just listen to the heart? Economic efficiencies and better outcomes. What if? Thank you. Thank you.